An Effectual Prayer Made in Time of Trouble by Lady Jane Grey O Lord, Thou God and Father of my life, hear me, poor and desolate woman, which flieth unto Thee only, in all troubles and miseries. Thou, O Lord, art the only defender and deliverer of those that put their trust in Thee, and therefore I, being defiled with sin, encumbered with affliction, unquieted with troubles, wrapped in cares, overwhelmed with miseries, vexed with temptations, and grievously tormented with the long imprisonment of this vile mass of clay, my sinful body, do come unto thee, O merciful Saviour, craving thy mercy and help, without which so little hope of deliverance is left, that I may utterly despair of any liberty. Albeit it is expedient that, seeing our life standeth upon trying, we should be visited some time with some adversity, whereby we might both be tried whether we are of thy flock or no, and also know thee and ourselves the better. Yet thou that saidst thou wouldst not suffer us to be tempted above our power, be merciful unto me, now a miserable wretch, I beseech thee, who with Solomon do cry unto thee, humbly desiring thee that I may neither be too much puffed up with prosperity, neither too much pressed down with adversity, lest I, being too full, should deny thee, my God, or being too low brought, should despair and blaspheme thee, my Lord and Saviour. O merciful God, consider my misery, which is best known unto thee, and be thou now unto me a strong tower of defence, I humbly require thee. Suffer me not to be tempted above my power, but either be thou a deliverer unto me out of this great misery, or else give me grace patiently to bear thy heavy hand and sharp correction. It was thy right hand that delivered the people of Israel out of the hands of Pharaoh, who for the space of four hundred years did oppress them and keep them in bondage. Let it therefore likewise seem good to thy fatherly goodness to deliver me, sorrowful wretch, for whom thy son Christ shed his precious blood on the cross, out of this miserable capacity and bondage wherein I am now. How long wilt thou be absent, for ever? O Lord, hast thou forgotten to be gracious, and hast thou shut up thy loving-kindness in displeasure? Wilt thou be no more entreated? Is thy mercy clean gone for ever, and thy promise come utterly to an end for evermore? Why dost thou make so long tarrying? Shall I despair of thy mercy, O God? Far be that from me. I am thy workmanship created in Christ Jesus, Give me grace, therefore, to tarry thy leisure, and patiently to bear thy works, assuredly knowing that, as thou canst, so thou wilt deliver me, when it shall please thee, nothing doubting or mistrusting thy goodness towards me, for thou knowest better what is good for me than I do. Therefore do with me in all things what thou wilt, and plague me what way thou wilt. Only in the meantime arm me, I beseech thee, with thy armour, that I may stand fast, my loins being girded about with verity, having on the breastplate of righteousness, and shod with the shoes prepared by the gospel of peace, above all things taking to me the shield of faith, wherewith I may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and taking the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is thy most holy word, praying always with all manner of prayer and supplication, that I may refer myself wholly to thy will, abiding thy pleasure and comforting myself in those troubles that it shall please thee to send me seeing such troubles are profitable for me, and seeing I am assuredly persuaded that it cannot be but well, all that thou doest. Hear me, O merciful Father, for his sake, whom thou wouldst should be a sacrifice for my sins, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honour and glory. Amen. If you enjoyed this recording, please support our channel by subscribing, liking, and sharing our content. We would also be happy to receive any comments or feedback below.